Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So um, I had gone ahead and picked up uh, some Loxy shadows, and so uh, I just there were a couple that looked like they would go really well with color pop. So that's kind of what today is. It's also going ahead and trying some products that um, are newer to me and I haven't really played with a lot. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started. And as far as what I have on um, as base today, I have the Beauty Bay Glow Filter on. This one is in shade 02. And I think they're only about five shades. It's not really, um, it's a makeup, no makeup kind of thing. And there isn't a lot of pigment in there. There's a ton of glow, but not a lot of pigment. So I think the thought was that, you know, they didn't need that many shades because it wasn't going to be um, a full coverage. And it definitely, it doesn't have very much coverage at all. Um, as far as what I have on, for my concealer at the LYS Triple Fix, and this one is in LN3, so that's what I have on. The um, consistencies of these two are a lot alike. Um, again, they're going to be really, um, they, they'll give you some moisture and uh, some coverage, but they're not going to, they're definitely not full coverage. They're both on the lighter coverage sort of thing. All right. If you had a spectrum, they would be on the lighter coverage kind of thing. And then as far as what I did for the lips, I picked up another one of these hard candy. This one is on again, and that's the way that it looks. Um, they're plumping glosses, and this one is my type. And... Um, I'm liking them. They have a little bit of, well, they do have some cover or some color to them, but they're really good at plumping and it's definitely that um, cool feeling plump. So it's not that hot plump. I can't do that. It just, but um, they do give you a little bit of plump and some color and they feel really good. They do feel very moisturizing. But another thing that's very moisturizing is the e.l.f. lip oil. And I have that on as well. So, yeah, this is what I have on there. And, um, again, this is new, newer color, the on again color. So, oh, no, that's my type. Never mind. So here's the on again color. And it's more of a peach kind of color. There we go. So that's kind of what it looks like. And um, yeah, really nice, really creamy formula. And um, let's see, as far as what else I did today, um, I, I went ahead and picked up the Zalas in Wonderland, uh, the Wet and Wild collection. And I got some of it, and I just haven't really played with it a lot. So I went ahead and used This Is My Blush. And it's really fun. It comes with, um, you can mix all the colors together, or you can only use this and that. I went ahead and mixed these two together for my blush. And then I did a topper mixing these two together. So that's what I have on as far as that goes. And then as far as a highlighter, again, I did pick up the Wet n Wild Alice in Wonderland. And so this is what I went ahead and used for the highlighter today. And Wet n Wild always does really good highlighters. In fact, I've been uh, cleaning up uh, this area and um, I found a whole bunch of the Wet n Wild highlighters and I'm not throwing them out because they're that good. So, and, you know, it just, they're good. So, um, as far as what I went ahead and did for the eyes today, I have some new products as far as that goes, too. Um, I did go ahead and pick up the Sky High uh, pack, and this I got over at Walmart. Um, with these, you get a Sky High primer and a Sky High uh, mascara. And the primer is actually black, so I guess if you wanted to, you could officially use it as a mascara. But um, I wanted to see 
because I really like this formula for the sky high and it really does what I want you know my lashes to do so I wanted to see if I could bump it up a little bit more so I'm still playing with it here and then as far as what I did was I for the eye look itself I went ahead and mixed one of the Loxy multi-chrome shadows with the cloud nine by ColourPop and with the cloud nine I use this as my base I took this color, which looks kind of unassuming in the pan, but it actually has a whole bunch of gray and blue and a little bit of shimmer in it, and I put it all over the lid. And then I put this one on the outer corner, and then this one right on the crease in the brow. So I actually did a, a lot of uh, this color right here. And then I did go ahead and put the Loxy shadow. It's called, well, let's see if we can get it to show up here. There we go. It's called Feels, and um, it's, it's going to be multi-chrome, and it goes gray to purple, and it's pretty cool. And so I went ahead and put that right on the uh, lid. And um, I really like the way that it worked out. I... Um, well, hold on. I also used this shade as the eyeliner, or as my eyeliner today. And um, then to go ahead and activate it, instead of wetting my brush, I just went ahead and sprayed the Glisten Up by Fourth Ray. Uh, this is on the ColourPop website. Fourth Ray is a sister company. It's a skincare line. And so I went ahead and used this to go ahead and activate as much of the sparkle as I could. And I think it turned out really fun. Um, I was, the whole thought behind it was that if, well, the whole thought behind it is with the Loxy shadows, they show up a lot better if they're on a base. And they're, there's just so much going on with the glitter and the multi-chromes and the different colors. And now I'm seeing some blue in there as well. Um, that if you put them on a base, they show up a lot better. And so um, I have been using a black base that I got from Profusion. You could use a cream black eyeshadow just to put it on there. Um, and let it dry and then put the Loxy on top. Well, I guess you wouldn't even have to let it dry, really. Um, but you could, and then put the shadow over it. So the idea was to see if it would work as well when it had this gray shade underneath that has blue in it and it has blue and gray and a little bit of glitter in it. And if that would help the Loxy shadow to show up better. And I I think it showed up about the same. I think probably the best way to do the Loxy shadows is with the black base. Uh, the gray base, it, it looks okay, and it's a fun look, and it's definitely not something that I'm going, you know, it's a good look. But if you want to get the most out of these multi-chromes, definitely put them over a black base. Um, you could I haven't tried them over a dark blue base, but that might work, you know, so um, it just, it really brings out the colors because right now when I look at it, I'm seeing all the shimmer, but I'm not really seeing the purple and the blue and, you know, I'm seeing more of a gray shimmer sort of thing. So um, that's my suggestion on those. And I think with a lot of multi-chromes, um, the black base is the way to go, but it isn't necessarily true for all of them. And then um, I haven't worked with very many holographic eyeshadows, and I'm really hoping to get a couple of those to work with here. And I'm really wondering if they work pretty much the same as multi-chromes, but I'm not sure. And that's something for the new year and something to do. So something to test out, something to be scientific about, huh? Okay, so um, this is the look, and did I even do here? So again, it's a lot of gray shimmer on there with a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue, and um, 
I just, I'm really glad I got the Loxy to play with. And I think that's the whole video. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye.